What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red Walkthrough. Yes, another hat game right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel. Well, we started off the episode, you know, with a new Pokemon, and yes, if you guys don't haven't caught it yet, uh, hold on just a second, pressing that button, yes, we caught ourselves, or we got ourselves, a uh, Tepig, and we are calling him Oikinator. Now, it could have been Baconator, but check out my Sword and Shield walkthrough. We already got a Baconator and all that stuff, so, yeah, we got this guy, and, uh, well, now we're gonna be continuing our adventure right here in Pokemon, uh, Unova Red, a hack game, it's pretty much based in Kanto. Except now you're going to be using some uh, Unovan Pokemon and all that stuff, which is great. It's good. It's good because, you know, for me, if you guys ask me, I think Pokemon Black and White is the is pretty much the, the, the region that I've lost a lot of uh, touch with in Pokemon. Uh, never really got to appreciate the Pokemon that were added. Never got to appreciate the storyline or nothing like that. Hell, didn't even bother to play Pokemon Black or White 2. Uh, afterwards so yeah this will, hopefully this will actually you know uh, bring a, a little appreciation to the region and all that stuff so there we are we got ourselves a map from uh, Gary's sister and now we're gonna be getting the heck out of here and well let's see we could be battling some new Pokemon as I said before yes I'm going to be editing out the game or the you know the, the wild Pokemon battle because yeah we don't need all that stuff right there so let's see do we need to do? Uh, let's see, we're gonna be going into Viridian City, and well, right here, uh, as always, we're gonna be buying some Pokeballs and all that crud, and uh, well, healing our Pokemon first, too. Now, I am going into this game blindly, just like in Pokemon Brown and such other games that we are doing right here in Hacks, uh, Summer of Hacks, and well, again, I'm still thinking that this game right here is going to follow Pokemon Red and Blue's little formula, except with just Unova Pokemon. Now, as you can see, we are in the Kanto region, so there's not much change right there. And, well, looks like to me I'm going to have to start ca catching some Pokemon right here. I kind of want to know where or what Pokemon we are going to be able to find around here. So, as always, I'm going to buy myself some five uh, Pokeballs. And, let's see, Antidotes get some three of those because uh, you don't want to mess with those Pokemon. Paralysis heals, let's get two of them. And, well, let's see, burnt heals. You can never, you can never go wrong with burnt heals because eventually some asshole Pokemon is going to just like, you know, burn yours in some way. Now, as you guys already know, we will be finding Gary around here. And we've already gotten the, uh, the potion right here. So, yeah, and then the other thing too, don't be afraid, or don't don't be too surprised if I'm gonna be you, or if if I use the speed button, guys. This is a hack game, not not you know not important to the whole adventure, but I kind of want to see what Pokemon we have right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the very first one right here. And as you can see, we are finding ourselves a Patrat, a, re uh, a replacement for Radita. So. What's going to happen is that, you know, I'm just going to fast forward right here, going into the, you know, an actual Pokemon that I want to capture. So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So I didn't find any Pokemon around here that I would want. Uh, there are a lot of Purloin, a lot of Patrats, and uh, P-Dubs right here. And, uh, well, I don't think these are the Pokemon I kind of want on my team. So we're going to continue on right here and actually battle Gary and see how, uh, how good he's gotten afterwards. So as you can see, we are passing by and Gary locates us. And he's like, hey, Dream! You're going to the Pokemon League? Hey, forget it! You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through! By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Yes, they did, because, uh, well, let's see, what did I do? Yeah, so, I, I was looking at all these Pokemon that we can actually find right here, and yeah, yeah, I was just beating them all. And yeah, Oikinator is at level 10 now, so, it may or may not have over-leveled them just a little bit for the eventual Pokemon that we might find. But it is what it is, guys, and well, let's go ahead and continue this whole Ember Attack Assault. And look at that, p -Dove is not liking it right now. Now, this could... This could prove uh, problematic right here because uh, I don't think there's an attack special split right here. So here comes a Oshawa. And we're going to start Tail Whipping the crap out of this Pokemon just so we can actually get like a, a, a one-hit KO or something like that. So let's go ahead and... Uh, you know, continue hitting him with a tail whip, and that doesn't seem to be a good, uh, a good thing right there. That took more than half of our HP right there. So tackle attack, and oh crud, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud! 
Yeah, we are kind of screwed right here. Luckily, we do have potions. And that right there will actually help us. So, here goes a tail whip again. We are kind of screwed a little bit. So, let's go ahead and go with a tackle attack. And that one takes half its HP. So, right now, this guy's being dumb. Not hitting us with a water gun attack yet. And, well, it looks like... I smell something fishy. So, we're going to get it with one more potion. And... Yes, okay, so we're going to have a little bit of an advantage just in case he hits us with like a water gun and we miss. Good gravy! And wow, that takes more than half our HP right there, so there we go. We survive one Pokemon and Oinkinator grows to level 11 and well, there goes Gary. He's not so happy. And he's like, you just lucked out. I kind of did, but it is what it is. So... Of course, you beat him. He's going to explain to you that you kind of need a Pokemon badges in order to get to the Pokemon League. So there is no point for us to actually get there. So let's fast forward to where a fully healed Pokemon and all that stuff. So I'll be right with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we are fully healed and we are kind of screwed a little bit because we cannot buy potions just yet. So let's go straight up and uh, meet the old guy that wouldn't allow us to go right here. Now, I'm assuming this is the Pokemon Yellow guy. Ah, I've had my pot, my coffee now, and I could, I feel great. Sure, you can go right through. Are you in a hurry? No, not really. And, of course, he's going to be explaining to us about the Pokedex and all that stuff, and he's going to teach us how to capture Pokemon. So we kind of walked into this. Now, I kind of want to see what Pokemon he's going to try and capture, and as you can see, there's a Venipede. Now, believe it or not, guys, Venipede has my eye. It really does. It has my eye because I've always wanted to use a Venipede somewhere along the lines I just trying to figure out when and where so look at that we or he's caught a, he's caught himself a venipede and well it's telling explaining to us that you know we first need to capture or weaken the Pokemon and then capture him so uh, let's go right ahead and move on right here here we are in uh, route whatever and well we're gonna go straight to the Viridian Forest we're gonna try and locate some new badass Pokemon right here now hopefully we find some pretty good Pokemon and uh, hopefully we don't waste any of our, you know, our HP or anything like that right there. So here it is, the Viridian Forest. Let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon we're actually going to find right here. And yes, we need antidotes just in case for these poison type attacks. And well, let's go ahead and grab that and crap baskets. Look at this, guys. We have found a Blitzel. I'm going to capture this Pokemon. Blitzel, of course, is an electric type Pokemon. And, uh, well, it's not the most powerful electric type Pokemon, but it is a crap basket. There it is. We defeated it. Uh, not the most effective electric type Pokemon, but it is kind of like the equivalent of a Pikachu and whatnot. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right there. Well, let's go ahead and continue on right here, finding some new Pokemon. Now, one thing I'm going to let it be known, I want to capture a Venipede, so we're going to try and capture or find this guy. And, well, let's see, I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. We should. And here is our first challenge of the Viridium Forest. Hey, you have Pokemon? Come on, let's pack a battle them. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, another Pokemon battle, and this is time we're taking on a Bug Catcher, and he is coming out with a Seawaddle. A Sawaddle. I think that would be the equivalent of a, uh, of a Caterpie, because it is both Bug and Grass type, so it kind of screwed itself right there. Oinkinator doing its thing, and here comes a Vanipede, the equivalent of a Weedle. Now, having played Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow for, you know, ever, for a long, long time, you kind of know what Pokemon uh, are replaced right here. Obviously, you know, you, you got Caterpie and, uh, and uh, Venipede right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, continue on right here. Battle this guy. He's like, yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Don't know exactly what he means, but all right, whatever you say, homie. So, here we go. A bug catcher again coming out with his Venipede. And... I gotta say, at first I didn't know what this Pokemon was until I looked at it closely, and yes, a Venipede looks, uh, well, I can see the problem. I really do see the problem with, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of, a uh, well, I, I don't know how to say it, like, the, the kind of design it would have on Generation 1. Now, Sawaddle right here does have another, or does, uh, 
does it does have my interest too because it is both a grass and bug type Pokemon so that being said I mean I, I'm pretty sure that Brock would have some rock types kind of like a uh, rock and roll and all that stuff now I don't know what the equivalent of onyx would be so we're gonna have to find uh, find out and well look at that yes we he ran out of Pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and find some Pokemon I'll be right back with you guys Alrighty guys, so here we have a Sewaddle right here. Now, I am tempted of capturing it and actually growing it just a little bit just so I can, uh, well, I can use it for the, the gym right here. So, let's go right ahead and use this Pokeball, try and capture him. Look at that. Okay, there's one, there's two, look at you, and there's three. Hell yes. Okay, so we've caught ourselves Sewaddle right here, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Sewaddle, the sewing Pokemon, it chews up leaves and, so, er, and sews them with a sticky thread that it extrudes from its mouth. Okay, pretty cool. And, well, let's go right ahead and uh, nickname him right here. Let's go ahead and call him uh, Waddles, for just, for short and all that stuff. So, let's tee right here, here we go. Waddles, alrighty. Oh, actually, it's not Waddleette, but Waddles. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here, Sea Waddles or Waddles. And as you can see, it is both a bug and grass type Pokemon right there, so it does include these two typings. So I'm going to keep on moving on, and I'm going to try and find a Venipede right here. Okay, so here is Venipede right here, guys, and well, it is at a nice ripe level 5. Now, Venipede won't be having any kind of effect against uh, Brock's Pokemon, but... I could use it eventually for like some other stuff like you know eventually growing it into a pretty strong Pokemon right there and look at this oh defense curl look at that it's a very defensive Pokemon so let's go right ahead and throw this thing and well look at this BAM we caught ourselves a Venipede alright so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, new Pokemon right here Venipede the centipede Pokemon its bite injects a potent poison Potent poison. It is enough to stun and la large birds that try to prey on it. Okay, so what would be a good nickname for Venipede? Hmm. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure that out. Venipede. Hmm. 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 Can't call it Venaworm because it's like a, it's, it's it's stupid. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Venipede. Then a worm. Toxicity. You know what? Let's call it toxicity. Because I was listening to the System of the Down. So here we go. Toxis. City. Okay. Sorry if I spelled it incorrectly, but it is what it is, guys. It's just a hack game. Okay. So here we have uh, t two new Pokemon that we can't use just yet. Look at that. It's both a bug and poison type Pokemon. Eventually, I'm going to have to get rid of one of these Pokemon. But we got both. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. I might be doing some switch training just to, you know, just to grow some levels for these Pokemon. More so for Swaddle right now. And here we have an Antidote. And, well, let's see. Could've, I could have caught myself a P-Dub. Could have, but that was a no-go. And, well, here we are in the grass. And no Pokemon has attacked us. Let's go right ahead, continue on right here, and see if we can actually find some kind of like trainer or something like that. Okay, right here. Look at that. Walking like a pimp. Okay, so here's something interesting, guys. We have a Pampor. Now, I forgot to mention that you can actually capture the elemental monkeys right here. And to me, it looks like Pampor is a Pokemon that I kind of want to capture just for this occasion right here. And, well, let's see. Since we are going up against a Rock-type gym, I think it's more of a... I think smarter. Work hard... Or work smarter, not harder. And look at that. We got ourselves a Pampor. Look at that. Okay, so look at this. Pampor, the spray Pokemon. The water sword inside its tub and on its head is full of the nutrients. Plants and it plants its waters grows large. Okay, cool. And well, let's see. I've already called one of them Mr. Teeny, so let's call this guy Mr. Tiny. Or no, not Mr. Tiny, but Mr. Let's see, Mr. Water. I don't even know what to call this guy. Let's see. Let's see, Mr. Teeny. Hmm. Hmm. What's a good nickname? 
It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of stuff, guys. It's a lot of pressure nicknaming all these Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and go with, uh, Mr. Mr. Hydro. Again, a lot of these Pokemon won't be on my team very long, guys. I'm just screwing around with this game because, well... It's it's a it's it's a hack game, okay? So here we have Mr. Hydro, and it is a water type Pokemon, and I believe it's a Psyduck replacement right here. It has a Scratch and Leer, and well, let's see. I could capture the ele the Grass Elemental Monkey just to make it easier for me, and here we found ourselves a potion, which is great. And well, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, we will be finding another trainer right here. Alrighty, so here we go, going up against another bug catcher, and yes, he is going to come out with a very strong Venipede right here. Okay, Oinkinator, let's do this. Finish it. Ember attack for the win. And there goes Venipede. And Oinkinator grows to level 13, which is great. And, well, bug catcher, not feeling it. Not feeling so good right now, and, well... I think we need to find an item right here. I'm pressing the button and there's nothing right there. So that right there is uh, the Viridian Forest in all its glory. And I want to say that off screen I am going to try and capture some different Pokemon. See what works. And look at that. We are in Pewter City. So that is part two of this whole adventure right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be going up against Brock, the gym leader of the Pewter City gym. More likely, we're going to be having some new Pokemon, a new lineup, and, you know, pretty strong Pokemon right here. So stay tuned, guys. Another episode will be coming out pretty soon here. See you guys.